Hello, and welcome to episode 30 of my Everspace 2 playthrough. We are back in the nebula because this is where I found the other spatial bypass. We did go through... Oops, too far. We did end up going through... Um, uh, Zak uh, Zakova, but we didn't find one. Basically, I've been visiting every location that I could see that had um, a dockable location on it um, so none of these three or these four um, had a special bypass in it but this one did and um, the reason we are still here rather than somewhere else there's a side quest up there let's go see what that entails since the plan today was to get done side quests that are of a level that are lower than the main quest see what's going on here other than um, just getting that special bypass built I have not done anything so state of the world is more or less the same would you be familiar at all with the cave systems of Aethor 1 I was recently there as a matter of fact there were quite a lot of nasties down there those caves contain some mycelium samples we are seeking they are the key to us being able to complete our research in the Kaite Nebula. We don't have the means to return to the collection site, especially with the dangers about. Unless... Ah, uh, I know that look. Well, in that case, you are familiar with the drill. Our institute provides ample funding for field work. You would be generously compensated. Is it really so important? It is vital to our understanding of the universe. Why else would we take the risk of remaining here? Yeah, thought so. So, what is it you need then? We have been tasked with analyzing examples of certain species that live within the nebula. Please review our requirements before you leave. That's quite a hefty list. Descriptions are included, with possible locations. For the most part, they are spread throughout this system. Okay, I'll see what I can do. No promises, mind you. I am a busy guy. Only the scans are needed. We will make certain you are adequately rewarded. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay. Why did I get this quest now? That's so low level, relatively speaking. One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel a montage coming on. Um, okay. Scan a shadow creature. Well, there's nothing here, so let's find our first location. If any of them marked. Doesn't look like it. Um, we'll go there first. Okay, I will quickly ping these six things and we'll see you at each one. These are not sticky or ugly for a change. Transparently so. Remind me the next time I'm offered a task, uh, I only do non-slimy things. If only you would listen. Crossing jellyfish off the list. There they are. I spotted one of those shadow creatures. Fast little bastard. What can you tell me about them, Hive? As far as is known, each being is a sentient colony of UV-averse polyps. What it feeds on, or how it reproduces, are two of the greatest mysteries of extraterrestrial biology. Well, that's what we have scientists for, I suppose. 
The scan was successful. Another one for the collection. Okay, the last three I think we can get in the same location. This is it. Yeah, this is it. Ugh, this must be the mycelium the scientist was mumbling about. Yes, this fits the requirement listed. Let's do the scan and get out of this sticky situation. I'm glad we only have to scan it. I concur. I would have protested bringing such vile microbes onto the ship again. They could have spread to my circuits. <laughs> like you get a say in this hive. I don't even want to know what's in these slimy meatballs. They contain a highly concentrated dihydrogen sulfate with a mi- I said I don't want to know, hive. The scan is complete. Ugh, I think I need a hot shower after this. Our contact is limited to a mere stream of data. Still... Okay, memory says there was a spore in there, there was also those... wall clinger thingy, or clinging thingies. And I think those are the last two things we need. on the list for the research station. Yes, it is. And better get to it. The scan of the spore was successful. Obviously, Hive. Clearly no appreciation for what I do for you. Thank you, Hive. There's one. That's one of those Ethorian worms. What do you make of them, Hive? I find them thoroughly hideous. I mean, do you have any data on them? Can you Only that they would more than likely make for bad dinner guests. And that I can calculate that their jaws can force enough pressure to crush and chew our craft with ease. So scan it. <laughs> How close do I need to get to scan the damn thing? Let's let the shields recharge. Sneaky. Scan it. Okay, scan the remains. That works. <laughs> Sorry for it, but I'll be glad if I never have to look in the mouth of a cave worm again. That's all the scans. We can head back to the BRI bio plant. Yet another detour from our pressing commitments. I know you like these scientific expeditions, Hive, even if you won't admit it. They do engage my memory banks a little more than repetitive dog bites. I thought so. <laughs> Guess what? I have all your scans. Really? Now that is fantastic news! Everything, you say? Yep. Shadow creature, Athorian worm, mycelium, acid pouch, and so on. The whole slimy, creepy, cryptic mess on file. Everything, yes, yes. Everything. Well, thank you. I will see to it that you are properly rewarded for your efforts. So, uh, wait. You sound a little hesitant. Isn't this everything you needed to complete your research? Well, yes. 
And no. Something has come up. There have been rumors of a sighting of a real-life Leviathan. Like the skeletons. Yes! Imagine! Alive! Not a fossil! We simply cannot allow an opportunity to study such a legendary creature pass us by! You know that the longer you stay out here, the more you run the risk of being overrun by those crazy redeemers. It is worth the risk. We must complete our research above all else. Suit yourselves. Be seeing you around. Oh, are we going after the Leviathan? I kind of want to go after the Leviathan. I think that means we can. I know it's too low, I want to modify it. Move level restrictions. Oh, we can only do this once. Um, we move it off the weapon. We don't have the um, materials. We would need to salvage one more supreme thing to be able to use and equip that. Want no use. Okay. Right, let's get back to Elix Quest. I see a lot of signs suggesting this is a contested hotspot. This always plays havoc on my geolocationary sensors. You'll get used to it, Hive. Okay, so let's see. Um Where is that? Gang Wars is where we're going. Citizen of Velocity. I don't know. Okay, let's go after Gang Wars. This is the quest we wanted to do, so let's get it done. Well, since Elec didn't immediately ping us. Never mind. I'll do that in my own time then. Socket, heat sphere, energy socket, power core socket, support container. get the feeling that we're going to need to be poking our nose into a bunch of those. So I heard this one open as well. This one, however, looks like it's probably got something behind here. Nope. Hello. There we go, power core. Uh, let's put 
that in here, if it'll let us. Heat spear dispenser. The we have 60 seconds in this makes me think that um, there's somewhere else that's going to use that. Energy sphere sockets. We already poked our head in here and didn't see anything. That doesn't mean that there wasn't something here we just didn't... or that we missed. Sphere dispenser. Sixty seconds as well. Heading back for more. I get the feeling there is one more thing to do. Sphere socket is over there, so one was shoes. We got our protection sphere from here. things here. We'll do the next bit later. Let's get Alex Quest started first. Coalition HQ, state your business. I'd like to inquire about the well-being of some young Horags on your station. Well, well, look what the cat dragged in. Aren't you Adam Roslin? The one in... Uh, well, yes. That stunt you pulled on Avonrest brought down Okar Heat on the Coalition, which we could have done without. Oh, yeah. Look, sorry, but that was Maddox. I think I remember you. I am Ming Young. I command the Coalition, or what's left of it. Look, I'm just trying to do a favor for an old friend. Do you happen to know any of the offspring of a Horag named Elek? Of course. Emek and Enik especially, they're total goofballs. My own kids love them. You can tell Elek they're all doing fine. I can't vouch for the general future of our station, however. What do you mean? The Coalition is walking a tightrope, and I fear our position here is hanging by a thread. I feel I owe you guys for all the trouble Maddox caused earlier. If there was something I could do... Hmm... We could use any help we could get. Tell me, have you ever heard of the Zorillia gang? Should I have? Dregs of the colonial fleet abandoned here after the Okar War. They've managed to survive in the geothermal plant of a lava planet, looting the occasional automated cargo, which we can tolerate so long as they leave our bases alone. 
But now, the Zerilia scientists have developed a signature bomb which we have no defense against. So they become a threat? Possibly. If we could just get our hands on one of these bombs, we could examine it and assess the magnitude of the threat. If I was to try to pocket one for you, where would they be found? Deep inside their base. The bombs come for to a drone. Get a drone out of there and program it to deliver it to us. Just, you know, make sure it's not armed. Sounds too easy. There has to be a catch. The Zerilia's HQ is well defended. But our spies have reported a back way in that's unguarded. Why would they leave it unguarded? Because it's inside a volcano. Ah, and there's the catch. I can't send any of my own people. If Zerilia finds out we were involved, that would provoke them into action. I'll undertake the task. I'm not one to leave my friend's kids in danger. Deliver us the drone, and then we might take a different opinion of you. Okay, we have a job. Just curious. Uh, this should be an improvement. We're losing position for firepower, but that's fine. Uh, high capacity missiles, that is better. Kind of a recoil gun. There's a massive amount of range, but it's not like this is a short ranged weapon to start with. Plus it has extra bonus to it. We will compensate for the decrease in range by way of modifying it, which I will do through the other menu so that we can actually Uh, yeah, which I'll do for the other menu so that we can, um, so I don't have to edit in doing it. So do it for the crafting menu, modify, coil gun, select, install catalyst, marksman, craft missing components, craft, craft and install, there we go gives us a long range weapon, or at least a decently ranged weapon. What about that thing? Because we're going to be keeping this for a while. Oh, we actually have one of the, or each of these ready. Too worried about it not being close ranged. Uh, these are pretty um, tight weapons anyway. Increase only consumption. Let's just put powerful on it. Do I have? Ah, we already put high capacity on that. Okay, that's fine. Right. We have a task. We'll do another puzzle when hey, we get Archie, back. It's me. Hey, Adam. Ben repaired the ice cream machine. It's delicious. That's great. Look, I visited the Coalition and Mignon reassured me that your children are doing great. I just need to make sure things stay that way. Okay. That doesn't sound reassuring at all. Can you tell me anything about a Zerilia gang that's been hounding the Coalition? Those guys? A thorn in the backside of the Drake system. Their boss, Admiral Zealous, is a bloodthirsty maniac who thinks it was a mistake to sign a treaty with the Olcar. You're not getting mixed up with them, are you, buddy? I'm just paying them a little visit. I'll be careful. If I can help neutralize some bombs they've apparently developed, I might be able to provide some lasting security for all the little X. You're the best, Adam. Alright, so he wants one of those. Right, later.
let's go find this volcano base. Because that sounds like a fun time. Sneak in there without notifying those. Which one's just pinged me? Get ready to die. These ones pinged me. There you go. Alright. here to destroy the base but since we found this let's go plug it into one of the things over here that it's supposed to go into and we make the assumption that if there's one over here then there's probably one over here probably not Oh, there it is. On the inside. We may as well do them if we're standing right here and they're obvious that, or obvious that for us to do it. go down but I didn't see what on those things yes there's a bulletproof container in the middle of them so it is these things and we just got rid of a good railgun Right. To the waypoint. You erred in coming here. Time to burn. Another fire theme. This volcanic vent should be the back door the coalition leader informed you of. Well, let's have a look inside this thing. This thing is far above 1,000 degrees inside. The ship's thermal protection system is not built for that. I advise utmost. I know what I'm doing. Utmost caution, do you? Yes, let's try not to fly into lava. The 
The limit of our thermal protection has been reached. Continue, and the ship will be destroyed. All right, all right. I'm stopping. Damn it. Are you reading anything? I detect the signature of the bomb drones we are seeking across this lava pool. However, we cannot cross without melting like saturated fat molecules. What about those maintenance drones? They don't seem to be having any trouble with the heat. It appears that they have been modified with external heat shields. I see what we're going to have to do. So, if I could just take control of one of those things remotely, it could reach the bombs for us. Think you can locate a maintenance terminal? If it means leaving this hellhole without trying my circuits, I am more than happy to try. completely insane. This heat is going to burn us to a cinder. You need to turn back at once. But Warning. Then... Thermal protection depleted. Destruction imminent. The loot went behind the crystal. I do need some flawless. Can I just follow with one of them? I guess not. Can't have fun. There's the hangar. Okay. If we can't do things the fun way, let's do it their way. Come back out. Okay. One assumes top to bottom. See you around, Adam. Not top to bottom. How do we identify this then? Sure, trial and error works, but Just appearing out of nowhere. eventually get it with trial and error but I'm kind of surprised there isn't some sort of indication as to which order they're supposed to be um, hitting okay 
That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. What about you? Shielded thing. Ooh, blueprint. I won't be leaving blueprints behind. So what are you connected to? Dinged. There's no way there's not. Yep, top of this. Oh. Not quite the range. Let's try again. Did we miss? Excuse you. Thank you. These drones in particular. Like the drones at the best of times, but those drones in particular are nasty. This shaft apparently leads to a maintenance drone terminal. Hey, I'm receiving an intruder alert at Sector 17B. Anyone got eyes on a bogey? Nothing here. They could be inside one of the access shafts. I'll take a look. You let the boss know. Sounds like I need to speed things up. Like what we're after? Oh, am I being sucked upwards? I'm in. Looks like the drone's shield is a kind of force sphere surrounding it, keeping it cool. You are very close to an access door to the bomb drones. Okay, let's grab it and get out of here quickly. Where's it going? You need to remain in close proximity. It was seemingly programmed to reach an exit. However, it was not designed to exit over the lava. If you do not keep it inside the drone's heat shield, it will explode rather dramatically. Who the blazes is accessing our systems without my permission? Uh, nobody. Ha! <laughs> you think you're hot stuff, hiding from us? I'll show you hot. I'm gonna find you and fry your ass. Ah, you guys really like the flamey metaphors, don't you? <laughs> Whatever you're up to, it's going to fail. Who sent you? The retaliators? The, who now? The radiators? 
You think you're clever? I smell Balakin's fishy stench all over you. Yeah, sure, that's me. Listen close now. You tell your soggy boss to stay out of Cerulea territory. We made a deal. What kind of deal? We were forged in flames. Blood boiled or risen from the ashes. This is our home. And if you people cross the line again, Zerilia will burn you down. Yeah, okay, I'll be sure to pass along the message. Thanks for calling. Uh, have a nice day. Why do I get the feeling there's more to this story than Ming Young was letting on? The bomb drone's hull should be able to resist the temperature from this point. Now you will need to attain proximity so I can override its mainframe and program it to reach the Coalition. Sure. Just gotta get out of here and find it. Rightio then. Heat sphere socket, eh? Oh god damn it, it's turned the HUD back on. You don't need the HUD. Oh, I forgot I had um, these things. These things would be good against the drones. Dispatching it to the Coalition HQ. We should get out of here too before those Aurelia Flamers arrive to uh, sizzle me or stir fry me or whatever. Ah, yes, humorous. Ming Yun, the drone you ordered is on its way to you now. You are to be commended, a man of your word. I'm not so sure I can say the same of you. I get the feeling that Zerilia is not the only target in whatever game you're playing. You are most perceptive. Another quality I admire. Care to tell me what you're really up to? Indeed. You have earned a degree of explanation. The fact is, the job is only halfway done. We have the bombs now, but we need them delivered somewhere else. I knew there would be more of this. Expect me at your base shortly. Let's talk. She's starting the gang war. That's what this is all about. Actually, stop, 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 stop. Looking at the time, stop moving forward, please. Um, looking at how long we are in the episode, we will continue this next episode. Just get some distance away so that I can't stop myself dead in light speed or light space. So yeah, we will continue this next episode on Wednesday. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show, and hopefully, we'll see you next time. Cheerio.